This is Tank. Hi, it's Nancy Drew. Did you land that fish? I don't want to talk about it. Did that answer your question? According to the late Daryl Trent, you have a book about Rolf Kessler and his wife. Not anymore, I don't. You don't have it? Daryl Trent was kind of an oddball, you know what I mean? So when he gave me the book, I said I'd hang on to it just to humor him. As soon as he died, I pitched it. You threw it out? You mean in the garbage? He said it was a book he and his kid used to read. But hey, Daryl Trent was dead. I never met the kid, and the book was boring. So what was the point? You mean you read the book before you threw it out? Nah, not really. I just kind of glanced through it. Maybe you can help me. Kessler apparently had a special name for Amelia. Who's Amelia? Oh, never mind. Sorry. I'm curious. Who do you think stole that horse off the carousel? Kids staring each other, doing stupid kid stuff, or maybe somebody just liked the way old Nightshade looked and wanted him for himself. I don't know. Nightshade. That was its name, Nightshade. Kessler gave all of his horses names, painted them on their bridles. Have fun fishing. I'm trying. Sukov. My name is Nancy Drew. I saw the article you wrote about Rolf Kessler in the collector's hot sheet magazine. That was several months back, but go on. Well, seeing as you're pretty much an expert on Kessler as well as carousels, I was hoping you could answer a question for me. I'd be delighted. Would you happen to know the nickname Rolf Kessler gave his wife, Amelia? Of course I do. At least I thought I did. It was an Austrian term of endearment, rather common. Oh, come on, Anton, think. Spatzi. That was it. Spatzi. S P A T Z I. He always called her Spatzi. Did you, by any chance, hear about the horse that was stolen off the carousel at Captain's Cove Amusement Park in New Jersey? It was one of the carousels that Kessler carved. Yes, I did, and I thought, how odd, because you see, I'd gotten a call from someone about a month prior to that, asking me how much I thought one of those horses would be worth. Really? Do you have any idea who it was that called? None whatsoever. He never gave me his name, nor did he say where he was calling from. The thought that I may have actually encouraged someone to mutilate a work of art. Oh! How much would a horse from a Kessler carousel be worth? Depending on its condition, whether it's an inside horse or an outside horse, whether it's the lead horse, anywhere from eighty thousand to well over a hundred thousand dollars. Wow, that's a lot of money. Yes, it is. But Kessler carved horses for only five carousels in his lifetime. So not only is each horse exquisitely beautiful, but it's very rare, especially if it's the lead horse. The lead horse? The outside horse, just behind the chariot, the place where you can sit instead of ride. It's traditionally the most ornately carved horse on the carousel, hence the most valuable. Did you hear about how the carousel at Captain's Cove is now allegedly haunted because one of the horses was stolen? <laughs> yes, what a wonderfully romantic piece of nonsense! Do you have any idea why someone would be going to the trouble of making the carousel turn on and off by itself? As a matter of fact, I do. I think that someone wants publicity. Whoever stole the horse wants people to know that it's gone, so that when he or she goes to sell it, there will be a whole slew of eager buyers. But we're talking about stolen property. Are you saying people would willingly buy something they know was stolen? We're talking about the black market, my dear. Great works of art get stolen by thieves and bought by less than scrupulous collectors all the time. If someone did steal that horse off the carousel in order to make money off of it, what would be his or her next move? How would they go about selling it? Well, the thief would probably get a middleman to set up a bidding war between several buyers in order to get the highest price. The internet comes in very handy in such matters. Thanks for all the info. The pleasure was all mine. Hey Nance, what's going on? I have a theory. Someone stole that carousel horse, then made it look like the carousel was haunted, so the publicity would make the horse worth more on the black market. I'd be impressed, except for one thing: no amount of publicity can change the fact that the stolen horse was not carved by Rolf Kessler. The thing is, I just found out who bought the carousel horse that was replaced years ago. The horse that was stolen was definitely not the one that had been replaced. Well, then I guess I stand corrected. All that wood you recently ordered. What did you say it was for? <sighs> okay, if you want to know the truth, I was going to try my hand at carving a carousel horse to replace the stolen one, 
I didn't want to tell anybody in case I stank at it. Why would you need several tails if you're just carving one horse? You know, Nance, I've got a lot of work to do. And much as I love our little gab fests, my work just ain't getting done. So I'm afraid, as of now, this chat room is closed. Bye bye Hey, Nance, what's going on? I'll let you get back to work. <sighs> if you must. Hello, Nancy. How goes it? Here's your pliers. I found them in the haunted house behind that hidden door, which led to a booby trap. I told you mine were missing. Maybe somebody found them and left them by that door on purpose. I don't know. But they prove nothing. I do know that. Thanks for your help. No big deal. I am Miles, the Magnificent Memory Machine! Joy has stepped out of the office! Thanks, Miles. The Nancy Drew Entity is welcome! Hmm, looks like Joy's a pencil chewer. Hey, Nancy, what's up? I'll see you around. Have fun. Hello? Hey, Frank, it's Nancy. I'm on too, Nance. What's new? Joy Trent admitted to sabotaging the roller coaster, but I still haven't figured out who's responsible for the carousel hauntings. You're making progress, though. Yeah, you've narrowed the field. But I've also managed to annoy all my remaining suspects. They may not want to be that helpful anymore. Just hang in there, Nancy. Yeah, I mean, you've already gotten one person to spill her guts. You're obviously doing something right. Any suggestions as to my next move? You know Amelia's nickname. Now find out what it's got to do with spook number 10. I better get going. Bye, Nancy. See you around the campus. Hello? Hi, Bess. It's Nancy. Hey, what's the latest? It turns out Joy was responsible for causing that accident that shut down the park. How do you know? She confessed. Her father was right. Dredging up all those memories was good for her. She's apologizing to Paula even as we speak. What about the carousel? Was she responsible for all that haunting stuff, too? I don't think so. I think she sincerely believed that Ms. Santos was behind it, so she caused the roller coaster accident to teach her a lesson. At least you don't have to worry about the roller coaster anymore. Yeah, now you can really check out the rest of the park. You're making progress, Nan. Just hang in there. Got anything for me in the way of hints? Head to the haunted house and see what the deal is with Spotsy and Spook Number 10. Catch you guys later. We'll be right here. Toodles. Captain's Cove Police Station. Detective Paris, please. Hang on. Hi, Nancy. Nothing new at this end. What have you got? Thanks, Detective. You've been a big help. Glad I could be of service. This is Paula Santos. I'm afraid I can't take your call right now, but if you leave your name and number, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hi, Paula. It's Nancy. Listen, it turns out that Harlan was in a totally different prison than the jewel thief. I was wrong about him. I'm sorry if I upset you. I'll be in touch. like Spook 10 is missing an arm. It's been red tagged. Better not take the tag until I fix this. Oops, no power. Hey, Frank.
Frank, it's Nancy. I'm on too, Nance. What's new? Any suggestions as to my next move? You know what that red tag means. To say nothing of the missing appendage. By the time this is over, you're going to know how to fix everything in the park. I better get going. Call us anytime. Take care. Hello? Hi, Bess. It's Nancy. Hey, what's the latest? Got anything for me in the way of hints? The spook ten was probably red tagged because somebody's repairing its arm. Hopefully that somebody is Ingrid. Time to pay your favorite chief engineer another visit. Catch you guys later. Hasta la vista. You're doing great. Hello, Nancy. How goes it? There's a dummy in the haunted house that's been red tagged. It's missing an arm. Any chance it'll be up and running again in the near future? Got the arm right here. Just needed a battery. That's one of the dummies Joy Trent's father created. Probably why the circuitry is so bizarre. It works, though, so just reattach it. You'll need pliers. Oh, and don't forget to take the red tag back to Spy Master Bishop. Thanks for your help. One open mind sees more than two open eyes. It's locked. This takes an employee access card. Looks tight enough. I need to take this red tag back to Harlan. Hey, Nancy, what's up? Could you please turn the juice back on to the dummy in the haunted house that Ingrid was fixing? Here's the tag. You really got the system down, don't you? I'll just flip the switch and you'll be good to go. I'll see you around. Have fun. sure don't feel very safe. <gasps> oh my gosh, these must be jewels from that jewel heist. I should probably take these with me. A letter. Joy's father must have left it for her. My dearest Joy, I hope Miles and his riddles have helped you remember how much you adored this horse and how dearly you loved the woman who gave it to you. I found this picture of her years ago, but I didn't want to give it to you until I knew you were ready. She loved you more than anything, Joy. We both did. Dad. P.S. If you want to see where Glory was carved, look for Kessler's symbol on the wall. I could never spend a lot of time in there. Very strange vibes. So much for the stairs. So this was Kessler's workshop. I'll bet that's the carousel horse that was stolen. Somebody's been making reproductions, or should I say forgeries.
Nancy, 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 what have you done? It's what you've done. You stole the horse, you fabricated the whole haunted carousel thing to increase its value, and now you're making not just one forgery, but several. You think? You let everyone believe you were just a hopeless procrastinator. But this is the real reason you're behind in your work, isn't it? Right on all counts. Unfortunately, you're not going to get to tell anyone else. Ever. No, wait. Look what I have. They're diamonds. Real diamonds. Someone stole them 23 years ago and stashed them in the park. Well, well. Little icing on the cake. That's right. You want them? Here. Ouch! Hey! I've got to get out of here. I'm trapped! I've got to get out of here. I've got you, Nancy. You're cornered. You might as well give up. As soon as I get out of here, I'm going to call the police, Elliot. So don't bother making plans for tonight. <laughs> or the next ten years. Dear Ned, after trapping Elliot, I managed to pry the exit open and had Harlan call the police. Elliot admitted to stealing the carousel horse and planning the remote control device. He knew that publicity from the hauntings would increase the value of his forgeries. Needless to say, he's gone back to not liking me. Harlan, on the other hand, adores me now, because not only did he share the credit for busting Elliot, but his sudden fame brought him three job offers. He's staying on at Captain's Cove out of loyalty to Paula, but he's happy knowing that being an ex-con will probably never be an issue for him again. As for Ingrid, she promptly attributed Elliot's bad behavior to a deficiency in some mineral I couldn't pronounce. And Joy, when I gave her the picture of her mother, she started smiling and has yet to stop. Inventing Miles was the best thing her late father could have done for her. In fact, when I went to the park to say goodbye just now, she wasn't in her office. She was riding the carousel. Ever yours, Nancy. I've reached 555-4468. I can't come to the phone right now, so please leave a message. Hi, Bess. Hi, George. Well, thanks to you guys, I'm leaving here and flying directly to the Pacific Northwest for some much-needed R&R. George, I just got off the phone with that marine biologist friend of yours. She insisted I stay with her, and she even said she'd take me whale watching on the tour boat she owns. Anyway, thanks for arranging this little vacation, you two. One whole week of peace, quiet, and sitting around doing nothing. This is going to be awesome. Bye.